Hi, um, I'm Afireen Ramanafar, an associate professor at Eastern Connecticut State University, and um, I teach painting and drawing, and uh, that's my specialty is mixed media and installation. I was born and grew up in, in Tehran, and uh, almost half of my life I was, I lived in, in Tehran, and um, I, uh, after the revolution, I basically I, uh, I, I'm, I'm an exile, I was exiled from, from uh, Iran and lived in the U.S. Uh, for a long time. And um, so I studied uh, painting and Persian painting, miniature painting, um, and I got my bachelor degree from Tehran. And um, it was the Alzara University. And, um, and um, it was great and I, I Pretty much, I'm bringing all my experiences into my work these days, also as well, incorporating that to my recent work. My work in initially started uh, as I started working professionally, more seriously, and when I was getting my bachelor degree. After a lot of training, um, and my specialty was, as I mentioned before, it was pa Persian painting and Persian um, miniature painting also as well as well as the other areas that I covered in, during my bachelor degree and getting my degree in um, fine arts and you know, studio art. Um, so I think the initiation started from there and my work basically it's, um, has to do with, with a lot of um, thinking process to bring these two cultures together that I was involved with half of my li life living in Tehran and in, in Iran and grew up in that culture and um, coming here um, and kind of encountering a new culture. My study was uh, half of it I, I would say that it was more traditional and uh, the other half was more related to all the you know art courses that we're teaching now at the university here at Eastern and any other art schools. Um, my upbringing, basically, uh, it was quite kind of um, uh, related to how I felt for women. And my initial thought and upbringing has to do with the um, bringing a voice to women. You know, that absence of voice of women was always um, a kind of a idea or area that I was interested in. And um, so with that thought, I really started to bring it together. And especially, you know, when I came to, um, I graduated, I, my grad school was at UConn. So I graduated from University of Connecticut. And during that time, I found myself more seriously getting involved with the ideas. And I wanted to really explore not only the material, not only the getting more familiar with abstract expressionism and more kind of um, Western kind of styles. But at the same time, I wanted to incorporate um, some of the thoughts that I had and bring it together and make my statement through um, these experiences also as well. In general, I think the, the, um, the comparison is, is huge. It's a really big gap that I see. And obviously, Western society has more kind of been involved with the um, um, growing aspect of the feminism. But, but at the same time, you know, Iranian women, they never stopped. And uh, there are poets that, you know, um, and writers and artists that they've been quite kind of involved with with all these, you know, revelation that we're talking about. And um, I think me as a, as a, you know, teenager, I was always observing that kind of, um, you know, male characters in not only in my life, but also in other, uh, in other parts of the society that how they have more kind of, um, um, more decision makers, you know, and, and not quite giving authority to women but at the same time you know these are some of the thoughts that I, I brought in with, with um, through the work of mine. I want to I want to talk about my work and the past uh, two decades I've been working on this concept and the content of my work it's been about women and um, 
but the recent uh, project that I have been really involved with it, uh, with the multiple grants that I received, and um, I'm so, so thankful of receiving th those grants from um, the university, and you know, and that helped me out to um, develop myself and my artistic work also as well. So my work, uh, I, my recent project is a Women of Shahnameh, the Book of Kings, which is, um, I was mainly focused, I mean, the poet is Ferdowsi. Ferdowsi um, lived in 10th century, and, and um, he was the greatest um, uh, poetry book that he, he wrote, uh, in, that he took about 30 years to write that book. So this is this epic story of kings, and lifestyle of the kings was amazing. And there are numerous uh, women that it's been mentioned in this book. And um, so Women of Shahnameh, for me, it's, it was one of the areas that I started, you know, reading the poetry and I wanted to really revive their characters and kind of reinterpret their characteristics um, and um, make them my own, you know, interpretation all of a sudden. Uh, of these characters. So I, um, the woman of Shahnameh, um, I covered not only the, the large scale paintings and installation and filmmaking, animation film, um, virtual reality, and uh, all these things brought, you know, I was, I expanded my area even more and more uh, with uh, different approaches to um, develop this project. And, um, these um, women are really, they were so, uh, you know, they captured my soul because they were, um, their braveness, their, um, you know, the, the special quality that they had in, this, in, the, in these epic story. It was really interesting. And I, and I also decided to, you know, portray them. So that's, that's the story of, of women of Shahnameh. I really enjoyed my staying, being in my studio and work, and that I lose track of time sometimes. I love that. And, um, and I think the involvement, it's just not only physically being involved, but emotionally, mentally, I am totally involved with it, and that's, that's how I really enjoyed my time there. And as far as the student and um, working with students, I think um, one of the most amazing things that I really enjoy in my students, when, when I see that they accomplish uh, um, learning, accomplish a final beautiful project at the end. And um, that's my, my, the best time of, and of time of my studio work and working with my students, to see them that they're growing, they're learning, they're practicing, and they're putting effort. One of the best advice that I have for the students is um, to be inspired and to keep inspired. That's, that's how the success is gonna come out and, and being um, content, about, you know, content about the work and then being really um, consistent uh, in terms of, of heading towards the direction of their life and being a real, real artist. That would be my suggestion to use and, use that kind of inspiration and follow it up all the way until they get there. <laughs>